What is up you guys, Ben German here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some raids I've been doing in Champions 3 that have came down to the wire, and we might actually try and show these more often because it's always fun to watch a nail-biting replay, especially in war, and if you got a close 49% or 50% raid that you'd like to have featured on the channel, send them to me via email or send me a direct message on Twitter at BenGermanClash with your clan tag, and I'll visit your clan and chat for a while while I record your replay, but with all that being said, I did boost my barracks for a couple hours today, and I did get a grip of close replays because that's how it be like up here with this surgical Baludian strategy it's always down to the wire and with all that being said let's get into our first replay which is going to be on a town hall 10 because we are not fucking with town hall 9s no more because they are worth two or three trophies and I Fuck no, we're not going for one or two trophies on a two star. We're gonna be going for a one star on a Tahoe 10 worth 24 to 32 cups. Anything above 32 is fine, but you know, it's not that rare to see those. 32 is really kinda the highest I've been seeing lately. We're gonna drop a hay spot on the top and at the right to get to these clan castle troops. And unfortunately, we were stupid and we dropped our clan castle by accident and we didn't realize that he had a fuckload of space in his clan castle. So he had all those archers in there. And I don't know why I didn't think he had all these archers in there. I mean, he is a tunnel 10 with 35 space but <laughs> i just i just wanted to cry when i seen the rest come up but we're gonna suck it up because we're big boys and we in the big boys league now and we dropped a race boat with four balloons and hopefully they take out this archer tower and maybe some archers and yes they did and they're not gonna be able to finish that mortar off because he is a trooper and we're gonna drop a minion to the side to lure out all these archers and it would have been nice if we had another poison spell but we did not we replaced it with a haste spell and we're gonna use half of our fucking minion army to take care of these archers which is really gonna suck because these minions are meant to be our cleanup troops to take out all these unprotected structures but we did use half of them which i mean it's all good i mean we're at 6%, you know, what's the, what's the issue? Okay, we're at 6%, that looks really bad right now, but trust me, it always looks bad with the surgical balloon at first, if you don't drop the minions right after you take care of that certain section of unprotected structures, but it's all good, we're gonna try to get to this 49 or 50% as soon as possible, and we're gonna take out the gold mine on the right, and maybe the army camp, yes, the army camp is gonna go down to a couple minions, and we're gonna drop 3 more balloons on a hay spell, and 3, 4, or 5 more balloons on that rage spot at the bottom, to try to take care of that archer tower, which it will, Hopefully, fuck ass air sweeper always fucking up my air attacks. And the hay spell is gonna be dropped on these archer tower at the bottom, and it's actually gonna take care of it. And let's see if we can actually. Okay, it's not even gonna get close to taking care of that max wizard tower. But we're gonna drop the rest of our minions, unfortunately, on the unprotected structures at the bottom. And unfortunately, also a Tesla popped up, and we're gonna have to take care of that with our last two balloons. And in just a moment, we're gonna decide, and we're gonna be like, you know what? We're gonna take out this Tesla and. Look at the wizard tower at the top. I didn't even notice how little bit of health that bitch had. I could have dropped a just just a balloon there and it would have taken care of that wizard tower and we could have dropped a hero at the bottom. I don't know. We could have done something different, but we didn't see that fuck as wizard tower. Just uh, it makes me mad that I didn't see that at first. But let's not rage too hard right now. We are commentating this shit and we got two balloons going down on this as the air bomb is gonna come out, but not gonna be a factor. And the balloons are gonna go down and barely not get that elixir collector right there. And I, again, I didn't see it that it was about to go down. So we attacked from the wrong side for some reason, but time was running out. That's why I was so scared. And the time you see right there is the time that we have left. Let's see if the king can get through the collector. And the queen's royal cloak is just barely gonna get us the first star. The only star that we were looking for. The fifth 50% was achieved, 9 trophies for Ben German. Let's move on to the next attack, which is a 50 or 49% raid. You'll see right now, the skeleton trap came out when we were testing for clan castle troops, which there was none because this guy is not in a clan. And I'm not, I don't know, I was just making sure he's not in one of those requests and leave clans. And we're gonna drop three balloons on these archer tower, and unfortunately, he had a shitload of bombs next to his archer towers, which is pretty smart and pretty stupid of me because I should have assumed that this is gonna go out throughout their whole raid. But you know, I was like, oh, it's probably just one. No, no, no. And here comes some more skeleton traps, and they're gonna actually put in some damage on our balloons that went the wrong way, they didn't go through the to the archer tower like we wanted them to. And the archer tower is gonna stand. We're gonna try to drop a balloon right there to just get some splash damage on the archer tower, but the fucking air sweeper always fucking up my day this air sweeper just loves fucking up my race so we can drop a race spell on this arch tower and that's for sure gonna get up this arch tower because the race spell does increase the damage your balloons do so one splash of one balloon should take care of mostly anything that's not an air defense or a uh, an expo or an inferno tower but we don't really uh, get to the inferno tower part most of the time we're gonna drop a haste ball on this archer tower and we're gonna drop three balloons or four i'm not mistaken i don't know i'm not sure and it's not gonna take out the wizard tower but it did take out the archer tower which is cool we're gonna drop one balloon to test for shit and there is nothing except for these skeleton traps that are gonna come out and not do shit 
So the balloons will have no problem of taking out these archer towers, but these skeleton traps are gonna fuck everything up and uh, they're gonna take out my balloons. Before it gets to take out that cannon, we're gonna drop another race on our balloons and let's see if they can get through this wizard tower. No, they cannot. The air defense one shot at the fuck out of our balloon and he couldn't even put down the thing before the archer tower, not the archer tower, the air defense threw another fucking missile because the skeletons were there and the skeletons did live a very long time before my minions on the left took care of them. I didn't really even notice them. You know, my vision is horrible. Like, I don't know what's been going on or if I just need some contact or something, but we're at 19% with just balloons, if I'm not mistaken, and the minions we're going to drop is going to take care of a grip of structures for us. We're going to drop a minion on that spell factory in just a bit because the little larries that were flying took care of our minions that were taking care of that spell factory. It's going to go down 29% so far. So I have a couple more minions on that bracket and that should take care of that. And we're barely going to get through that elixir collector and we're going to attempt to get through that wizard tower, but the minions were not enough to get there. And there's a little bit of damage left on that elixir drill, and it's gonna go down for 40 34%. I'm dyslexic, I almost said 43. And we're gonna have 34% left, and we're gonna see if our heroes can get through the rest of this base and give us the 50%. We're gonna drop a clan castle to the right at the upper side of the base and drop a poison spell on those skeleton traps to make sure they don't take out our we're well not take out but distract the shit out of our king while he gets taken out by the other structures. We're gonna use his iron fist and he's gonna go down at the hands of the cannon and the archer tower. And it's all gonna come down to time again. We're gonna drop the rest of our minions to take care of that wizard tower where they're distracted by other shit. And the wizard tower is gonna go down, and the minions are gonna take care of that. No, they're not because there's not enough time. The collector would have gone down easily because the minions were not getting hit by anything. 49%, the absolutely most ugly number to get in the game. 99% being the second, but at least you got two star 99%. Or at least maybe one star, but who knows? We'll get maybe into some of those later after we get into our last replay, which is a 49% or 50% raid. Drop a couple balloons on the archer tower, and that's gonna go down with ease because the air defense was pretty far. And there's a fucking max dragon or level four dragon. I think it's level four. I'm not even sure. In the clan castle, nevertheless, it's still a dragon. It's gonna cause some problems. But I mean, at first I was tripping. Like right now, I was like, oh, like, oh shit, there's a dragon coming out. But I mean, at the end of the day, it wasn't that big of a hassle because we do have a shitload of minions and we're gonna surround it by minions and it's not gonna have a chance because it's really slow attacker just like a pekka going against some skeletons the dragon is gonna go against those minions and lose that battle with ease we kind of just we kind of did overpower that attack we dropped the haste belt to the top right get through that archer tower as well and we'll worry about the top ones after we worry about the bottom air defense Drop a race ball right there, and that stupid Tesla is gonna pop up and distract our balloons. And the balloons are not gonna go towards the air defense, and they're gonna get taken out by some air bombs as well. We're gonna drop into race ball to the left, and that actually did get the air defense with the splash damage. And the Tesla still stands on both sides, but they're not gonna reach our minions. This air defense right there is really gonna reach our minions, which sucks because that's what we wanted to go down. So we're sitting at 10%, and our minions should be able to rack up at least. 10 to 15 percent with all these structures at the bottom we're gonna go ahead and attack from the top we drop a couple or drop a haste ball at first and then drop the second one kind of overlapping but we kind of want the width of that to get all of the balloons so they can take out both of the archer towers with ease because their defenses are again not hitting them and we're gonna have a fuckload of more unprotected structure at the top for the minions to take out and let's see if this balloon horde can take care of the wizard tower and it looks like they're just not gonna be able to what's up with me and like leaving all these buildings with a little bit of health i'm just not lucky at this game 40 percent has been achieved so far 58 seconds we still have five minions left and we're gonna try to pick out the gold storage on the right which is gonna go down but just to help it out a little bit and we figured that if the one on the right goes down this base is pretty symmetrical so the one on the left should go down as well but for some reason it's in range of that air defense unlike the ones on the right i, I was pretty confused but we're at 40 percent the gold storage should give us 41 or 42 we'll see in just a sec 41 percent and we only have our heroes and Fine castle troops left and we're not even sure what's in there drop our heroes on this gold mine our barb king in front of course like always protecting our beautiful sexy queen and the queen's gonna be working on that cannon and take it out for 43 percent we're gonna be forced to use the clan castle because we don't think that the heroes are gonna get through this in time the king is breaking through that wall while the queen is shooting over it attacking that wizard tower with all her might we lose some barbarians to a spring trap the king goes down skeleton comes out let's see if it distracts the queen and it looks like it's not gonna distract the queen the queen's gonna take out the air defense and just in the nick of time because we did take up most of the time in that raid as well 50% 9 trophies for Ben German 
and we end up completely unintentionally taking 300,000 in resources plus almost a thousand in dark elixir which is cool but it's whatever honestly we're really just going for trophies and the loot bonus is also nice but we just use everything on walls not really going for dark elixir because then we're a target for Taha 10s that are trying to get their heroes up we're at 3293 trophies we're trying to get past the 3300 mark and after that get to the 34 and then the 35 which is ultimately the gold champions too hopefully we'll get there sooner than later because it's been a struggle up here guys it's always a struggle searching for the right base to attack with my surgical balloonian and it looks like that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode guys thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe for daily clash of clans content i hope everybody has a great day and don't forget to come back tomorrow and keep clashing with ben